Okay, so we have here another topic about the open cylindrical tank or in a cylindrical tank. This is a seaboard problem on November 2018 under the structural design and construction. Okay, so the problem says that the steel tank has a diameter of 3.5 meter and the wall thickness is 6 millimeter. The tank is 4 meter high. So, ito yung tank na yan. This is a steel tank and it has a 4 meter high and 3.5 meter diameter. And the wall thickness is 6 millimeter. Okay, question number one. You determine the maximum height in meter to which the tank may be filled with water if the allowable stress is 5.5 megapascal. Okay, so that would... The letter A is 1.9, letter B 2.0, and C 3.42, and B 1.24. Okay, so for number two, the stress, the steel tank is subjected to an internal pressure of 0 0.5. 0.5 megapascal or that is 50 kilopascal. Find the allowable bursting force in kilonewton per unit length. Okay, so we have here uh, choices also. And for number 3, this S is limited to a 10 megapascal. Find the allowable internal pressure. Okay, so that is the question for number 3 and we have also here another. But this is, is this has a limited a uh, stress of 10 megapascal. Okay, so we go now to number one. Determine the maximum height in meter to which the tank may be filled with water if the allowable stress is 5.5 megapascal. Okay, so the question is determine the maximum height. So, ito yung height na yan. No? Ito yung height na yan na hinahanap. But this, is, this has an allowable stress so, ibig sabihin, ito lang yung allowed na stress na pwede nating mag magawa. Okay, so for the formula for the stress in this problem, we have the tangential stress is equal to PD over 2T, which is the pressure times the diameter divided by the twice the thickness. Okay, so since mayroon tayong allowable stress, dapat hindi na tayo pwede mag-exceed sa 5.5. Ito yung allowable stress na yan. Hindi kaya less than or equal the allowable inong computed natin. Kasi hindi tayo pwedeng lumagpas nito. Pwede tayong mag-equal pero hindi tayo pwedeng lumagpas. That's why less than or equal sa, sa allowable stress natin. Okay. okay. So this is PD over 2T and that would be our formula. Okay. So but the question here is the height, the maximum height Ano? Ito yung height. So, wala naman tayong dito height. Eh, alam naman natin, this is the pressure since too big to. Okay. So, we have here a formula for the pressure that is equal to the unit weight of water times the height. Okay. Yan yung ipapasok natin dyan sa pressure na yun. So, substitute natin yun yung pressure nito. Okay. So, that would be our formula. And yung inahanap natin is height. Okay, so mangyayari, ipupunta to doon. Tapos itong dalawa, yung dito sa baba. Okay, so substitute, substitute, substituting the value, we will be having our height is equal to 1.92. Okay, since our choice is here, says 1.8, 2.0, okay, 3.42 and 1.24. So, ito, wala na to. Itong dalawa. Hindi na yan. Ikis na yan. Ikis na. So, ito na lang. Itong dalawa na lang. So, pagpipilian mo dyan. Kung equal sign to, kaya ginamit natin dito is inequalities kasi hindi pwedeng lumagpas. Kung equal sign to, automatically, ito yung isasagot mo. Magra-round up ka. Since inequalities yung given natin is ginawa natin yung inequalities. So, ang answer natin dyan is 1.8. Kasi hindi tayo daw pwedeng lumagpas sa 1.9922. Yan yung magiging maximum natin na height. Ano? 
hanggang dyan lang. Kaso, yung choices natin is, wala sa cho yung sagot natin is, wala sa choices. So, doon tayo mag-answer sa 1.8. Kasi kung 2 meters, uh, 2 meters na yung magiging height natin, lagpas na tayo sa ating allowable. Okay? So, I hope naintindihan nyo yan, ha? Hindi ka pwedeng lumagpas dyan. Kasi pag lumagpas ka dyan, mag exceed ka sa yung allowable na 5.5 megapascal. Kahit computein mo pa yan, lagpas ka dyan. Okay, so dito tayo sa sagot sa 1.8 para safe. Okay. How about for number 2? The steel tank is subjected to an internal pressure of 550 kilopascal. That is 50 kilopascal or 0.05 megapascal. Find the allowable bursting force per unit length. So, may choices na naman tayo dyan. Okay, so ito yan. Ano? Since mag-expand to eh. May pressure yan dyan eh. Uh, Mangyayari dyan, may pressure yan. Uh, may pressure yan. May mga tangential pressure yan. Okay. So, may bursting force. Yan yung tatawagin natin, bursting force. May bursting force tayo. So, we have here another, our illustration. Ito yung mangyari. Ito yung magiging steel tank mo. Ano? Tapos, meron yun dyan. Ano? Imaginary line. Okay. Diyan papasok yung pressure or yung force na yan. Ito yung force na yan. Ano? May force dyan na papasok. So, ang sabi natin sa bursting force, dapat ito yung force Tapos, ito yung magiging area natin. Kasi, mayroon tayong internal pressure. Ang sabi natin, formula for the internal pressure, pressure is equal to force over area. Okay? Force over area. But, the area is perpendicular to your force. So, dapat perpendicular daw yung area mo sa force. Hindi mo naman pwedeng gamitin to. Okay? So, dapat perpendicular yung area mo sa force mo. Okay? Ito yun. Yun yung magiging area mo ngayon. That is 1 times the diameter. Okay? Okay, manipulate natin. Force is equal to pressure times the area. That is 50 times 3.5. This is for your diameter. This is your area. Ito yung area mo, ha? That is 3.5 times 1. Ito yung pressure mo. Ito yung. Okay. So, we will have the force of 175 kN per meter. Okay. How about for number 3? The stress is limited to 10 megapascal. Find the allowable internal pressure. Okay, in mega, megapascal. So, ito yung mga choices naman natin. Okay, so ito yung medyo madali na yan. Ano? Okay, once again, we will be having our stress is equal to PD over 2 theta pressure times the diameter over twice the thickness. Okay, since mayroon na naman tayong allowable, yung allowable natin 10 megapascal. Ito yun. Okay. From this formula, okay, ginawa natin ito yung hinanap the internal pressure. Okay, yan. So, this is 10. This is limited to 10 megapascal. That if you're allowable times the 2 times the thickness, Tapos itong 3.5 times, actually, uh, sorry, this is, would be 1,000. Dapat 1,000 yan. So that it is, uh, itong megapascal, ito magiging millimeter. So dapat itong meter yung magiging diameter mo. So times natin yun sa 1,000 para maging millimeter. So cancel out, ito yung matitira, megapascal. Kasi yun yung hinahanap natin na unit, megapascal. Okay, that is 0. 0.034 megapascal. So, our answer is letter A. And yung sagot natin sa kanina is letter B. Okay, yun yung magiging sagot natin sa problem na ito. So, remember that this is a CE board November 2018 and uh, itong problem na ito is kinuha natin so, sa libro ni Gilisanya. Okay? So, thank you for watching. I hope na may nakuha kayo sa ating topic ngayon.